Cantula. Cantula. Hi, please subscribe if you haven't already. Jump in the comments because this is the last time you're going to see Rusha Little John for a wee while because we're going to kill her. Come to the funeral, everyone. It'll be a right laugh. All right, Potter. Um, yeah, well, you're going to do. You've got. You're going into camp. Yeah, I'm going into camp Monday. on Monday. Monday morning. So you're head down, focused. I'm going to go full Brittany in camp and shave my barnet. Don't shave your barnet in camp. camp. Don't shave it's your barnet. It's going to be a long camp. So it's a 45 day camp? I don't actually want to count, but it's like we've gone in, in on the 12th. And then if... And then it kicks off on the 20th. If, I, if, you, if make, you go to, mm -hmm. uh, I think you travel like on the, the 7th and 8th. And it's quite difficult because you go into this camp to Dublin for a couple of weeks. And then you could be cut. Eight of you could be come. Mm. Mm. That's, that's pretty much. Brutal, there's like four there? training players, but I don't understand if they travel in Australia or not. I don't. Training really players have means just to keep everyone competitive and well, just like just for the numbers at training and stuff mm. like that. Yeah. Wow. You're one of the training players. Probably. Mm -hmm. I'd probably not. I'd probably not even be going. So don't say that. Don't Never say know. that. You've got to dig deep. We want to see you at the World Cup. You've had a tough time of late. It's time to. <sighs> it's time to channel that and get to the World Cup and represent Ireland with pride and joy and oomph. You still talking? That was my positivity speech. Um, but how are things anyway? What's been happening? Fantastic. The sun's shining. I know. It's uh, 30 degrees today. I got a good bit of sunshine yesterday, so I'm absolutely delighted with that because I've not got time to go away before camp in these two days and I've had stuff on. Had a wedding. Christy Murray got married. Oh, Christy. Beautiful day. Um, I'd stuff on before that, so yeah, I've not managed to actually have time to get away. Mm. I'm not crying about it. This I won't crying about it. You sound like you're not over it, that's no, for sure. Not. Well, the sun's come out this weekend for you. You're going to go and do a training session. You can go and find somewhere to dip yourself in a pool. And then we'll go to camp on Monday. Yeah, the good thing in Dublin is there's loads of places you can go uh, to the water and jump in. And I love that, so oh, nice. that will be my therapy. I will be jealous. Um, Something that's just come up today is that the Lionesses have now sorted their final farewell game before they go to the World Cup. So originally that last game um, where they were beaten, God, it slips me, it wasn't Germany, was it? It doesn't know where it was, it was it? They won the final with man and they were beaten after that. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, it was a friendly as well, but this, this farewell friendly is going to be against Portugal on the 1st of July in Milton Keynes. And there was a bit of concern mm. because obviously they've lost so many players since that final game mm -hmm. um, a couple of months ago that they need to get another game under the belt with these newer players coming through and the lack of their experience maybe in the squad. Mm -hmm. um, Portugal, I did get to see a couple of times at the Euros in the group stage. And um, do you know what? They were, they were beaten, by, beaten by Switzerland 2-0 and then they brought it back 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. It was very good. It was a very uh -huh. good game. Some good players on there, but um, do you think this is a good test for the Lionesses before they go? I think you're obsessed with the Lionesses. You're sat here with me and all you want to do is speak about the Lionesses. It makes me sick. All you want to do is talk about but, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you should expect the, them to win that. It could go a nice like, technical team and stuff like that, but I think yeah, England are just going to be too strong for them. Uh, they've still got a lot of experience in their team, so, you know. Millie Bright's captain. Yep, she is. Captain Millie. Happy with that? Millie, yeah. Millie Bright. Actually, I think she should yeah. be the captain in the first place. All right. And then, because well, Millie Bright played more football for England than Leah Williamson had when Leah Williamson was appointed. Um, and then actually I was like, okay, no, Leah's been signed. She's not put mm -hmm. wrong, obviously. Yeah. She's got a lot of experience. And then now this, I got okay, Millie, go for it. Um, and now Harder's left as well, and uh, Ericsson's left Chelsea. She's the captain at Chelsea as well, so captain all round. But oh. I spoke to her in an interview mm -hmm. for DAZN. I don't ever think it went up, but she was incredible, like proper mental tough person. Like you sure. can tell she's focused, and yeah, I really, really like talking to her. So come on, England! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, anyway, so the Lionesses will play Portugal 1st of July in Milton Keynes. I think I'm going to be at that game, actually. Of course you will. Um, when you're England top, you'll uh -huh, see the uh, You'll see me. I'm wearing my England flag. dress just now as well. Um, your big coronation flag. <laughs> freak. <laughs> um, Chelsea, just speaking of Chelsea, they've signed this Macario from Lyon. Um, what do we know about Macario? She's got curly hair. I've seen a picture of her. 
Okay, uh, and I don't know anything else because I've not been studying women's football of late. I've had a holiday. Okay. I've had time off. But you just said you've not had any I've time not had that holiday. kind, not like a sunshine holiday. I've just mentally <sighs> took myself out of the game for right, a while. Okay. Um, and analysis starts next week. Yeah, let me just wipe those tears oh. for you. Um, yeah, they've said Macario, we knew that was coming anyway, world's worst kept secret, but um, the, the, the launch actually from Chelsea was really cool, really like that, um, I can only imagine Chelsea now moving forward. I want to speak to you about um, Chelsea, Chelsea. your World Cup squad for Ireland as well, because mm -hmm. Aoife Mannion's left out the training squad because of a knock, have you spoken to Aoife? I've not, no, but I heard she's got a knee knock. Um, a knee knock? A knee knock, <laughs> um, yeah, but it's... I think it's okay. I think she she she'll be back in time, as far as I'm aware. Um, Cause she's been good. Mm? She's been very good since coming in. She's yep. a strong player, isn't she? Yep, she is. Okay. Well, I'm sure she'll be back in time. Thanks for well, text her now and see if are you okay. Just text her. Is you okay, babe? Hello, Eva. <laughs> text her. I'll I'll do that later. Give the people what they want. God love it. Um. Also, the other thing to talk about is the media blackout. This is a really nice girl. I know. Yeah, okay. Oh my God, I wasn't saying she wasn't. Yeah. I said text her and ask if she's okay. Oh, you were like, no, I can't. You're getting all stage five of me. Like, just let people breathe. Great, get, in you. get me a vodka. Let people breathe? You put all over me. Oh my God. <laughs> breathe. Um, okay. So we touched on Mannion. Yeah, the media blackouts. There's nearly a million tickets sold to um, the games of the World Cup so far. Mm -hmm. and we still don't know. Was it still going on? It's still going on. Oh, really? So you might not even that? get to see it? No. OMG. I mean, I think we will. Uh -huh. I think we will. I think broadcasters will get it right. And yeah, I don't really understand it all. But yeah, obviously it would all be sorted at other tournaments. Infantino. Um, what's uh, that? Well, Gianni Infantino is the president of FIFA. Right. He's, do you not know who Infantino is? So he's the one who, 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 who brokers the deals of where the, the tournaments are mm -hmm. going to be. He's the president. Uh -huh. And he's the one who put the Men's World Cup in Qatar. Oh, goodness gracious. Right, he's right. in that. And now it looks like it's going to be in Saudi at some point mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, but obviously they're against yeah. women in that country, right. against women playing football, mm -hmm. gay women, rights, any yeah. of that, dragon. Um, so obviously the women's football community have their question marks over mm. Infantino anyway and then of course they nearly brought Saudi on as the the main sponsor for the mm -hmm. women's world cup oh, yeah. mm -hmm. which meant there would have been a bit of a boycott there which mm -hmm. it's not happening but i think that would have probably meant that no players would have gone because oh, really well because it's like you can't have saudi as the main sponsorship of mm -hmm. our tournament yeah. and we can't go to saudi arabia yeah would you, you get paid more if you if they came in if they um, way in order to the money <laughs> <laughs> it's all about your rights um, but yeah, no, it probably would have been a fair amount of cash right. there. But that's that's the point is that he has the control of all of this. Stand now he's not. It's not right, is it? He's Don't stand up for your values. But it sounds like this infantino just cares about the dollar bills. He does care about the dollar yeah. bills. He's a businessman. He doesn't mm. care about um, anybody but himself. Really. No values. Um, but anyway, the media writes that the broadcasters aren't coming forward with enough for their bids to broadcast the World Cup. So he's now saying, if you're not going to give enough, I'm not going to show it at all. All right. I'm going to do it. Get me on the phone. And, he, and he's then saying it should be equal to what we're paying for the Men's World Cup. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, but that's so, that's so different. Like, yeah. You can't say now when you've not supported women's football mm -hmm. the whole time that now that they yeah. should be, the broadcaster should be paying the same amount. It's not yeah. the same. Um, however, he's saying it's not high enough and women need to be valued. And I was right. like, you weren't saying that when you had Aye. Saudi on board a couple Aye. of days ago, body. Silly little boy. It's a shame because we we are, you get, you're going into camp in the mm -hmm. next day, couple of days. And if we still don't know where you're going to be sitting down to watch it. It's at the other side of the world. The, some of the games are kicking off at like 7.30 in the morning. Most of the games are quite good. It's like 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. um, actually in Australia, it's mm -hmm. quite lovely for yeah. the time we were working. Bring your camera and just say I'll probably live stream. Think I could just live stream it. Live stream. Think of the views, views we'd get. Person. Think of the views we'd get on the old channel. Do it on your YouTube. That'd be great. You've not got the rights to the game, so you couldn't. I don't have the rights. Maybe dodgy Maybe one. I could put in a bid though. Oh, you need bid. 20, <gasps> 20 quid. 20 quid. Sort of. And I'm all heart. I'm all here for the women. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that one pans out. I, I have a bit of a problem mm -hmm. with this because working in the world that I work in and when tournaments come up, mm -hmm. they're in the diary for, for staff members, for businesses, for all broadcasters. You could be talking a year in advance, the, yeah. 
everybody knows what they're doing that summer or that or that Christmas when there was a tournament there at the World Cup. Yep. And this time it's just like, oh, you know, I'm not quite sure what we're doing yet. We're just going to wait and see what kind of budget we've got. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we don't know the rights yet as well, which doesn't help the broadcasters. Yeah. But I also look and go, if you care, you would, you would, you would, you would do it. You would, you would all go in all heart mm -hmm. and make sure that you're going to offer it properly. So I have, I have a real problem with that. And I've said it a few times now, but I booked my flight tickets and I want to go out there and I want it work. Yeah. But either way, I'm going. I'm going as a fan. You know, and I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm and I'm not saying that other people should have to do that as well. Yeah. But they should be entitled to watch it. And the broadcasters, if you want to be shown as pushing women's football, you will broadcast it. You will pay what you have to pay to, to do it. Mm -hmm. If you want equality and you want the opportunity to be able to be one of those broadcasters that made sure that you broadcast the Women's World Cup. But if you don't want that, clearly don't care. It's simple. Don't try and riddle me your budgets. And the budgets are just, oh, so stupid dingy from some people really oh it's enough to make you just be like see, i don't see any of this i don't look at any of it <laughs> catch back <coughs> <coughs> um it's just like it's not great it's not great i get people people asking if um like your taxis outside some like you can mm -hmm. do um like is rush available for 10 hours on our day off um before the world cup uh, to come in and just talk to us and give us all this content um, and I'm like okay can we organize a fee for that sorry we're actually hoping we'll get that on a free I'm like right so she's not had a break and she's going into a 45 day training camp in the hope that she gets to the World Cup and on her day off before she goes to that camp we have to do 10 hours of work for this broadcaster for whatever broadcaster for whatever brand for nothing Oh, mm -hmm. what a sweet deal! I mm -hmm. mean, um, Rusha, are you available mm -hmm. for that? I mean, come on! I'm actually like they're shaving my pubes instead. I'm not with <laughs> them. I'm clearly not with them. Honestly, I've got a hot flush and everything. Anyway, you, if you're watching this, you agree with me. You probably agree with me. I think we're all on the same page in this channel. That's why we go on so well. Um, I think that's all I wanted to really moan about. Anything else? You no. Like but to... Did you want to add to that, or do you not um, have that? No, I totally agree. Um, my thing is, we had a woman that came in. I, her, her name is slipped my mind right now but she was um a very like high up in what she does but she could maybe be looking at coming in and like maybe like with the WSL like what's next to the WSL so she's like very hands-on in that and basically we we're talking we we're saying it seems to be obviously everyone wants the big guns mm -hmm. so the big guns are only ones benefiting right now so it seems to be the same even when you're doing like some media stuff yeah. like the fee is crap compared to if they want the big gun, they want to pay out. So it's like, how do you get people on that level? Mm. How do you get everyone like... The where disparity. Does it... It's the yeah. same with the top clubs. Keyword. The disparity. disparity. Um, and and I, I get that, you know, mm. because I, you look at the number of players that have been cleared out the WSL. We, we did a bit of, uh, on the channel. Um, All the old ones? You. You're <laughs> one of them. Um, Dan Carter, for me, I think, has... It, she's almost like a face of the WSL. Is Trev not going wrong? Victoria Williams? Victoria Williams from... is gone. Kane I mean, I don't, I don't know gone. where they're going, but I'm just like, clubs obviously releasing. Yeah, Megan Campbell's got. There's, there's loads. Megan Campbell, Megan Walsh. Megan Walsh. There's all the Megans. Um, all the Megans get Remy. Hit. Remy. Remy Allen. There's um, yeah, a few like more like senior. Over the age of 30. Senior players. You're 30, you're gone. It feels, it feels a bit like that and I hope these players get another opportunity because now the money is coming in and they have been the part of the struggle of the WSL that I feel that they deserve another opportunity whereas clubs are just looking and going now we've got to get the young ones in maybe they would get more of a transfer fee for them um, they've got longevity because mm -hmm. they're younger maybe they're not injury prone blah 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 but also look and go well these players have been part of it for so long now the game's taken off from missing out on a, on a huge opportunity, which I actually think they kind of deserve. I, I'm curious, mm -hmm. excuse me, I'm, I'm curious to see now, Leicester have done this mass clear out, mm -hmm. you know, surviving themselves and staying in the, the WSL, well done. But the clear out that they've done was majority of senior players. Mm -hmm. And I look and go, what are you going to be thinking next season? If you're, and then less, all the teams are all really young. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe it is a money thing. They don't have. Uh, it's the definitely cash business. Yet. I'd say it's definitely business. But at the same time, I think um, you need senior players. Like you need the core group of senior players in squads to. Yeah. You can't um, always survive with kids all the time. You need a bit of experience in there, even mm -hmm. for stupid stuff like in the changing rooms or whatever it is. But it seems to be the new trend right now, the new craze. But obviously, there's what 
a few months left before the league starts back, so there's going to be a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. There's going to be injuries. People might then be looking for a, yeah. But right now, the I think the the main thing people want is a sort of a younger, yeah, player. Mm -hmm. that is yeah, my age. That's that's the business plan. It's the model. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I hope you get a team as well. I, I mean, all if not, I'm going to start a five a size team. That would be brilliant. I know. I would love that. And then you could do it on your channel. What, how oh my god, people that? would love that. You can stream it. Loads of GoPros. Fantastic. Loads of yeah. little GoPro mm -hmm. body cams, five a side team. You could team up with like the hashtag United lot, playoffs against each because they do all their stuff on mm. YouTube as well. Um, shout out to Alex Bayless. Um, also, one thing I was going to say just on the subject of uh, Liverpool, who we mentioned there, um, did we mention Liverpool? I was going to say Megan Campbell. Uh, they include it as well. Liverpool have bought mm. Melwood, one of the training centres, to completely refurbish state of the art facility for yeah. women. Um, more of this, please, from clubs. Right. And you know, Todd Bowley, if you are watching, you are a multi billionaire. You bought Chelsea for 3.5 billion, and it looks like the women are playing in a shoe cupboard mm. for their training facilities. I said it there, I said it. I mean, I have no problem with that. I don't think they have a problem mm. with it either. Frank Kirby did say, actually, that he came to visit one day and he was like, This is where you train. What? Oh, really? But nothing's been done, but you've spent 600 million. I'm sure there's stuff going on in the background. I'm sure there isn't, but there might be, because that's not always out there until it's official. In what kind of stuff? Yeah, what they're know. making changes with it? Yeah, and uh, why would they not the mention scenes? it? Why would they not say, actually, this isn't good enough and we're action on it? Maybe they've. Um, Emma Hayes has won everything. They've, they've Manager of the season four years in a row. What you call that? Budget. They've not got the plans yet. They've not got the plans. We've got too much backing for Todd Bowley. you seen him? I love Todd. <laughs> Nice guy. Oh God. Um, okay, well, good luck. Thanks. Find your training camp. Thanks for having Give me. Give a hug from everyone. Because I'm on you. Page uh, five. Um, uh, I hope it goes well. We hope we see some vlogs, but we understand the training will come first. Yeah. Um, any messages you want to say to anybody watching um, and wishing you luck today? Yes, YouTube will go ahead, but I will not be posting while we are in Australia. That will have to be touch with after. Your touch with your yeah, if I'm going, might not be going. So if I'm not going, I can keep vlogging. Um, if you take me out there. Oh my god, I was going to say you could come with me. Yeah, we could do That's that. It. We could vlog it. Okay, there's a silver lining to mm -hmm, everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got to turn everything into positive, you know? Absolutely. Um, okay, well, good luck. I'm going to say something that would have been banging or done. I'd get in trouble for it, so I'm not going to say that. Just keep that thought in there. Oh, she's going to say um, But yeah, there will be stuff, but you have to wait. Have to wait for it. Thank okay. you. It'll be good. Um, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for watching and we will see you very, very soon. Bye, Ruth!